that's the game I'm a really passionate presenter. 
Um, so you'll see me just kind of like kill the music and feel free to do that because it's, it's you know, we're here to have fun, we're here to have a good time. That's why we're here and I'll get into the why in just a minute because everybody's like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? I'm like, I don't know, just come. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun. That's how I got all of you here, having fun. So, um, and I once again appreciate it. But I also, I do have to say this. I have a videographer here. This whole thing is being camcorded. I also have people taking pictures throughout the entire event. Your pictures will be posted on social media. So I'm here throwing it out there. It's on camera, I've got my coverage. <laughs> if you don't want to be on social media, you probably don't want to be in this room because this whole room is going to be on camera. Okay, so I'm just let you throw uh, that out there. How much we get paid? <laughs> 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 That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Just a little bit about myself. Uh, I, I believe in God, and I'm a big believer of God. And I'm throwing that out there because you'll hear me speak about him just a little bit. I still need to read the Bible. That's on my to-do list. That's a <laughs> but I know there's a reason why I'm here today. And I know there's a reason why I'm talking to each and every one of you. I know that there's a reason that you showed up today. If you learn a ton of things from me, wonderful. If you learn one thing from me, great. But I want you to leave this room and just absorb the knowledge, okay? Um, I'll go into that just a little bit more here shortly. Um, another thing I want to do is just throw out a warning. Because I am such a passionate speaker, I tend to cuss. So I'm also going to apologize right now in case I offend anybody because I might go there. It's it's not you know it's not like I'm a trucker and some people might beg to differ, but it might slip out. So I'm just going to throw that out there. Okay. Um, how many people know that I love coffee in this room? If you know me, you know I love my coffee, right? So when I saw this picture. It was at a, a museum downtown. It's one of those pop-up museums. It was like the breakfast one, if anybody ever went to it or saw my post. This was in there, and I'm like, oh my god, that rings so loud to me. I have to take this picture, because one day I'm going to use it. Hi, here we are. <laughs> so I thought that was cool. Um, I probably got that from my mama. Because <laughs> you're a big coffee drinker, too. Yeah. Um, I've been married now for uh, almost three years, so in September three years. Um, I've been with my husband for seven years, and this is my family. So for those of you guys that don't know me, this these are my kids, and this is my husband. So um, LaRoya is a daughter of mine through marriage. This is her daughter, I'm a grandma. You know how hard that was to hear the first time that was said? I choked, and I was like, oh my God, they're talking to me. I can see, I'm the only grandma in this car. <laughs> so that was awesome. That's That feels good. I have another grandson that's not in this picture. He's actually going to call me grandma first. Uh, I corrected him and said it's glamma. Mm -hmm. For the record, in a couple years you can call me grandma, but it's glamma right now. Um, this is my other daughter through marriage, Lauren. She lives in Chicago. My husband, Tim, some of you got to meet him earlier. Me, my son, Orlando, who, by the way, just earned... Uh, he earned an event up at the U today, so all morning he's been doing football at the U of U because he earned a position uh, today at the U, which is awesome. So, good job, <laughs> he's, He actually, yeah, he's doing very well. And then Ava, Ava Bush, all you guys know Ava. This is, this is, uh, this is my eight-year-old, and she's here helping, and she's had a lot of help today. <laughs> In some of my future discussions, I'm going to actually be more topic driven. So today I'm a little bit universal and just kind of touching here and there. But um, I'm going to be a, lo a lot more topic driven in the future. So when you see me invited to events, just know I'll, I'll, I'll specifically talk about what I'm going to talk about in those events. But one of the things I'm going to talk about in the future is I have actually had four kids and given birth to four kids. So I have four kids through marriage two through marriage, four total, but I've actually given birth to four kids, and I've literally had two of my own kids die in my arms. And so these are things that I'm gonna to talk to people about in the future. 
and, um, and, and a couple more things as I work through this. But I bring that up because I like to acknowledge them. Um, my first son was named Xavier, and then my second son was named Trady. <clears throat> I opened a shoe store after Trady, and I'll talk about that here in just a minute, um, just to keep his memory alive. And then also my email address, you'll notice, uh, my personal email is his name. So one of the reasons why I chose Trey e as his name, and you'll see that here next, is because when he was born, he had a heart in the shape of, it was blood on his head, it was in the shape of a heart. So Trey e is a heart spelled backwards. And that's the reason why I got his name. It was really hard to have a shoe store named Trey e, and everybody's like, what, Trey? What? And I'm like, there's a reason why it's Trey e. So um, there's that. Um, let me go into this. So for those of you that don't know me, and actually I'd like to say this, the person that hired me at SOS Staffing uh, 20 years ago was in this room. And she's right here, her name is Lori. And she, thank you so much. Um, I, I worked at a company called SOS Staffing for 15 years and it was bought out by Elwood Staffing um, at my 20th year. So SOS staffing 15 years, Elwood buys out, and then I stay there for another five, so 20 years total on all of that. Um, not sure why that's there. Anyhow, uh, I, I say all of that because SOS for me was, was schooling. I didn't go to college. I didn't get the opportunity to do that, unfortunately, but it's okay because God gave me to SOS, and then SOS, thank God for Lori, she's like, come work for me. Um, I stayed there for 20 years, I, I learned, <laughs> thank you. I learned so much at SOS, and that's one of the reasons why I can even give you this opportunity right now, because I dedicated my mind, heart, body, and soul to this company, to the point where now, I just want to teach people, I want people to strengthen their foundations, I know how. I now have the skills and I can help you. I can help you or people that you know, I promise you I can. So um, I just, that's, that's part of the reason why I know what I'm doing right now, right? That's, that's what helped me know how to put this event together, right? And thank you for that opportunity. Well, I gotta say something. She yeah. said it's in there. Please do! <laughs> <laughs> hey, not only did Amanda learn from some of the best people in the business, Amanda changed the business. Yeah, I did. She kicked butt from day one. I literally had her for what, maybe six months? I think it was I, three. I, yeah, I don't even think, yeah, you're probably close. Yeah. I'm sure you're right. That I had her for three months. I just got her, I mean, she trained like that. She was kicking butt in our office and they stole her away from me. <laughs> and then she just went, and it, I'm so proud of her. I Thank just, you. Appreciate it. I totally appreciate that. I started at SOS Staffing, not a lot of people know this. <laughs> not a lot of people know this. I started as the receptionist. I ended as the director and had 32 employees that reported to me and ran three different departments. Um, on a she was major only receptionist level. for maybe a week. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> But so there's that, um, and and because I'm who I am, not only can I work a full time job, but I also want to open a shoe store. So uh, the next thing I do is I in life is I'm like I'm not busy enough. Why not open? I'm let me apologize for this right now. <laughs> <laughs> this really happened. I want everybody in this room to know this really happened. So I had, so this is Trady, right? So I had a shoe store. This is my second store that I opened. My shoe store was on 700 East and 2100 South behind that Denny's or Bees right there, Bees. Um, and I had that for about a year and a half, maybe two years, and then I ended at a hat store for about a year. Um, the funny story about this, so this wasn't my initial logo is where I'm going with all of this. My initial logo is very plain, very trade shoes, stuff like that, right? So then I go through this, crazy divorce, all this stuff happens, and I'm like, why still have all this inventory and I have to sell it? Um, so I opened a second store here, and I focused mostly on hats because that's where I was making all my money. And um, I won't go into that how I was making all of my money in that particular arena, 
Um, but I do plan to talk about that in the future because I can help you, okay? I know how to use my own. I'm actually really good at it. Um, I put this exact logo on my glass door at the second building, right? So glass door, kind of like this one here. I slapped that bad boy on there. It cost me $150 to put on there. My next door neighbor business was a massage hall. And boy, did I piss the owner off. Because he's like, you're bringing too much attention to the massage parlor. And I'm like, let me walk business. I'm like, oh, that's right. Happy endings. That's right. Yeah, you don't want any attention. So he calls the owner of the strip mall. And within one hour of having this put up, they make me take it down. So now I have to pay another $150 to get them to take that, because that logo made it one hour. And that's, I'm here to say right now, don't do this logo in the state of Utah. If you're gonna go to Vegas, have fun with the logo. But in the state of Utah, let's not even think about it. Bad decision on my part. But I showed this and went here with all of you on this logo, because I want you to know that everybody makes bad decisions. I'm guilty of that. I want you to know that everybody makes mistakes, and you know what you do? pick yourself right back up and you figure it out and you adapt to the situation. And I'll go over that here a little bit more in this uh, presentation. Right. <clears throat> the next thing is, and I gave everybody a business card, right? I do real estate. There's actually another real estate agent in here, but if they want to introduce themselves, they can. Um, I sell homes and I help you buy a home and I help you sell a home and I do land and I do commercial, I do it all. So if anybody needs help, and I've actually helped quite a few people in this room. Now as I'm looking around the room, so I'd be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so just know that that resource is available. I posted this picture here today because it was career day at Ava's school. I'm going there and I did this as a surprise for you. Uh, Ava did career day at school, and she could be anything she wanted to be. And I, I was like, what do you want to do? What do you want to be? And she said, I want to be you. And I almost started bawling. <laughs> so she picked her own outfit. She found one of my flyers. I had nothing to do with that. And she went to school and did that. So thank you for that. Um, but I do also sell real estate. I just wanted to tell that funny story with that because she totally did all of that. Um, another thing I'm going to talk about in the future is uh, divorce. And, 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 and it's a topic of being with a man that was extremely abusive to me. I still can't fill my front teeth uh, to today. And um, my collarbone is chipped. I mean, I was in a very abusive relationship. A lot of you people that worked for me that's in this room didn't know that because I hid it from you. Um, he was extremely abusive emotionally, mentally, and physically. So those are going to be topics that I'll talk about in the future. Okay. Um, I do want to go over the seven rules of life. Uh, he's also the reason why my shoe store closed down because he ran me into the ground. So those are things that I'll talk about. Um, but I found this, so you'll find, you'll see that I, I found a lot of pictures off of Instagram, and I kept them because I knew one day I was going to use them. And it was so cool because I've been doing this for like five years. And so as I was thumbing through all my pictures, I was specifically picking pictures to speak on. And this one stood out a lot to me because these are, these are rules of life, not just work, these are rules of life. Feel free to take pictures of that if you want to, but so make peace with your past so it won't disturb your future. Uh, I probably was able to finally comprehend and do that at about the age of 30, maybe 35. It's amazing what you think you know until you mature and you continuously mature and you go through phases in your life. But I have to say that that really hit home for me because uh, I held a lot of pain in which is another topic that I'll talk about in the future. But finding peace with your past is, is the only way you're gonna be able to be effective in your future. And that's the truth. Because a lot of people in this room, 
your your business savvy. I handpicked everyone. I just want you to know I had ten people waiting to come in here, and I said I'm sorry, I'm out of seats. I did have some people not show up, um, but you have to find peace with your past, and that comes not only from friendships, family, maybe work experiences. Um, I'll give you an example right now of that. I I have my kids in a private school. So I work as hard as I do so that my kids can be in a private school because that's what I want, okay? There's a gal that I fired. I fired like 100 people in my life. So when it comes to business, one thing you'll get to know about me if you ever work with me on that level is I'm very business. Business is business. I take all emotion out of it. Anyhow, that being said, I keep running into these people that I fired, unfortunately, and they're pissed off at me. And I'm sorry for that. I was only doing it for business purposes. I wasn't doing it because I woke up and pulled a rabbit out of the hat one day. It's like, I'm gonna fire so-and-so today. Ah, it's not a fun feeling. I'm saying that because I go to my kids' school and there's a girl that's there. Uh, I'm the one who introduced her to the school. I'm the one who did all of that. And so now after I fired her, she puts her kids in the school and she just throws me an attitude every single day. And I'm like, can you please just find peace with that? Because you came into my comfort zone. Granted, it's a private school, anybody can go there, but you came into like my daily routine. I see you every morning, I see you at the end of every day. And you completely like basically spit in my face every day. And if she's in front of me, she won't even hold the door open. Like it's the most ridiculous thing ever. So my goal is, is to find peace with her, like to help her find peace with me. Because I didn't make that bed, I just made sure you slept in it. Um, number two, what other people think of you is none of your business. I hired a life coach to get over that. That's hard for some people, and that's not hard for others. And I am still learning number two, right? That, that's a hard one. I, I literally went, went and got me a life coach for like three months and was like, he was like, what's the number one thing you want to work on? And I was like, I want to not care what other people think about me. I just need to be able to do that. To, to be able to move through life a little bit easier. So um, investing in yourself is a big deal, right? If, you're, if your car breaks down, you invest in your car, or if you want a better speaker box, you invest in that, right? Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Life coaches, mentors, counseling, you, you, it, it will make the world a better place, okay? You've got to fix yourself in order to fix outside. So your inside, fix your inside in order to fix your outside. What do I mean by outside? Is the way you treat people. The way you treat people. Uh, number three, the only person in charge of your happiness is you. I want that marinade for a minute. Choices. He said happiness is a choice. I work upstairs now. I'm actually helping my husband. And uh, this is my husband's business. And I, um, they always say, Amanda, you're so happy. Every time I see you, you're smiling. And he's like, it's five o'clock. You should be like mad. And I'm like, what? Heck no, heck no, I, no. I choose to smile. I choose to be happy. I choose to want to make a situation better. I don't want to see the negative. I don't want to dwell the negative. And I kind of don't want to hear the negative. But I know the things have to be fixed. But we're going to look for a positive. Okay? Okay. So anybody who's worked for me knows that. Everyone's like, oh, you're so happy. I'm like, I know. <laughs> and people that are stuck in a negative mind frame don't like the happiness. So I'm there to warn you as you transition your life with number three, people who are negative don't like number three. So if you thought you had negative from them before, you're about to get even more negative from them. That's their own issue. That's their issue. That has nothing to do with you. That was a lesson learned. I was like, damn, once again, back to number two. Why is everybody so mad at me? Well, guess what? I'm choosing my happiness, okay? Number four, don't compare your life to others. Don't do it. You don't know what that person's going through. You don't know what their struggle, everybody's going through a struggle. I just went through, I just went to a funeral for a girl that's my age on Wednesday with two young kids. Just happened. Everybody's going through something. 
I had to watch a three-year-old kid get on the microphone at his own mother's funeral and talk to her. That was rough. Life is short, people. That's why I'm having you in here today. Okay, life is short. I just want to bless you with some of my knowledge. That's why you're here. Um, time heals almost everything. This is a hard one. This is a hard one because you can't buy time. You can't go get an Advil and pop it and get rid of a headache, right? Time heals almost everything. So before you react in the moment, just give it some time, okay? There's a lot more that I could say about this particular one, but I think you get it. And actually, this is, this is an experience thing too. I learned this one. This was good. I always, felt, I always thought I had to have answers. I'm a fixer. So I was always trying to jump and fix things and have answers. But I learned, you give it a little bit of time and it's either gonna fix itself or you're gonna have another door open in your head and you have another idea of how to fix it. Not everything has to be fixed immediately. Uh, stop thinking so much. I think women in general are guilty of this. I know I am. Um, it's all right not to know all the answers. Sometimes it's actually good to go, I don't know. I don't know. I answer everything, I answered 100 questions today, but this one, I don't know. And you know, weight just lifts off my shoulders. Damn, I could have did that 10 more times today. Um, and then smiling. One thing you're gonna know about me really quick, I smile a, a lot. If I'm not smiling, there's really something on my mind. I'm big into sharing things. <laughs> I'm big into it. I say I'm focusing on Sherry because Sherry has worked for me for how many years? Eight. Eight years? That was awesome. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna jump into our first song here and then I will be back um, up here in just one moment and let you guys enjoy your fun, okay?